Hey guys, have you ever had this happen to you where your motor cranks up and runs for a second but then shuts off? If so, stick around. I'm going to show you how to diagnose this and fix it. So if it wasn't cranking, it could be a couple different things. It could be the pump's not working or it's the carburetor, but in most cases it's the carburetor. A simple test to make sure you're getting fuel to the carburetor is to pull this line loose. Pull it and see if gas comes out. There you go. Alright, we're getting gas now. Now we're going to check it up to the carburetor. And the way you do that, is put this on, use a flathead screwdriver, use a flathead screwdriver to open this up. And when you open it to the left, it should pump fuel out the bottom. That's the bulb drain. So let's get the ball, the fuel going there. There you go. See the fuel running out? Now we got fuel to it. Close it back. So well, what I'm going to do is show you how to change this carburetor. It's really, it's fairly cheap and it's super easy to change with just a couple of tools. I'm going to show you how to do it. So back, back up. First thing is take that fuel line off. Take off this top line. All right. And there's two screws. Using a Phillips screwdriver, back them out. That one. And this one. Get it all the way out. Now, a couple things to be concerned about. There's gaskets right here between this housing and the carburetor. Pull it back, you're gonna see them. Don't lose those, those are important. You gotta have them, all right? Take those gaskets off and lay them down so you can, the screws what holds them. So you can put them right back. All right, now I'm gonna show you, let's see if this will hold this. I'm gonna show you how to easily Take this carburetor up. Back these screws out, just pull them backwards until this thing is out and loose. The first one is to go down, go down, and this will pull out. See that? Go down, you see how it's made? And then this one will come out just by working it down and out. And it's gonna go back in reverse direction. So guys, these carburetors on Amazon are only $37.50. It's kind of hard to beat that. And if you go to a marina, they'll charge you around $100. There'll be a link in the description. What happens with these pumps is when you leave fuel in them too long, the little jets get clogged up. You can buy these on Amazon. And don't quote me, I think they're around 37, 40, something like that. I'm gonna put a link to it, it'll be in the description. But this is the easiest way for that kind of money. And if you look, some of them will charge you like a hundred and something dollars. But this particular model will work, it's identical to the one that we had. It's identical. Woo! See that? And it'll work perfectly. It'll solve all your problems. Okay. So it comes with some new gaskets. I'm going to save them. Because the ones I've got on here are pretty new. I'm going to put that back on there. There's one gasket on this side. You can go ahead and put it on and get your screws started. Also be careful, there's a little collar in here. It might it wants to fall out sometimes, make sure it's in there. And then just put this, get this screw back started. All right. Put the carburetor up here. Get the screws through the carburetor a little bit here. So it kind of holds it for you. 
then take take the put you got the gasket on that side slide them back so they're about level just about take your throttle and put it in first put it in and turn it up then do the same thing on this side turn it down put your throttle and go flat now it's in there now you can start your screws get them going and that kind of helps to hold everything in place once you get them started get the screws going Make sure the screw is coming through and I'm gonna get the other one. That easy, make sure those gaskets are in place right there. We're gonna line it back up and screw it back in. This is a super easy fix, guys. This'll get you going. And this right here would probably cost you in the, at a marina, probably around 250, 300 bucks. Cause they're gonna charge you the cost of the higher end carburetor. And as you'll see, these work fine. Snug each side and then go back and tighten them. Snug each side. Snug your screws and then set down them a little bit, but don't mess them up. Put this top one on. Put your fuel one on. Open it so that it'll run some fuel out. You'll know it's got fuel in the carburetor and you watch she'll crank up this is how you can put some pressure on that there we go the first time it's a little hard open it up so that fuel will drain see the fuel draining already close that up now we're gonna pull it a few times the ball will fill up and she'll crank up Alright guys, I got some water here. We're going to try it out. See how it does. Guys, that's it. That's as simple as it is. Takes about 30 minutes to do it. For me, start to finish, it might take you an hour, but it'll save you a couple hundred bucks. If you liked the video and you got something out of it, how about hit the like button, but more importantly, subscribe to the channel. You'll see a lot more stuff like this. You'll see me replacing the engine in that boat very soon and to start the great loop. If you don't know what that is, check out the channel, subscribe. Until then, see you later.